welcome today i am going to explain you about the ip blocks how to use the pre existing ip blocks and uh, how to convert the verilog code in, into the ip blocks that i will explain you okay uh, in this project i will do counter implementation by using the ip blocks so first we need to create project and next write some name next next then here you need to search uh, your which uh, board you are using so i am using xc7 z010 cld400 so this board i am using so according to your board you just uh, select it okay next this is the summary this board is belong from the zinc 7000 series so this is the summary of this board okay so what we are doing we are uh, creating our uh, one party on one block so by using the blocks and uh, verilog code here. so i am going for the create block design okay so by clicking plus sign we can add ip so here what we need we need a clocking wizard id which convert the uh, 100 megahertz internal clock to the uh, 1 hertz uh, clock because we are uh, doing that counter implementation of 1 uh, second delay so for 1 second delay we need 1 um, hertz frequency so i am using that clocking wizard ip okay so this is a clocking wizard ip we need to do some modification here here uh, the in, uh, input clock is uh, 100 megahertz which is uh, coming from the fpga and uh, at output side uh we need a 1 hertz uh, uh, at output 1 hertz frequency at output side but it is not possible directly to convert 100 megahertz to the 1 hertz from this clocking wizard so uh, up to uh, 5 megahertz it is possible but uh, what i will do i will convert 100 megahertz to the 10 megahertz and uh, from 10 megahertz to the for 10 megahertz to the 1 hertz i will use one verilog code uh, which i will uh, explain you okay in this lock and reset i will uh, just disable this codes it is not required here okay and uh, save it is yes. okay then our clocking wizard is done what what it is doing it is taking 100 megahertz internal clock and it is converting to the 10 megahertz okay now for 10 megahertz to the 1 hertz we need to write a, a one way lock code because we can't uh, convert 10 megahertz to the 1 hertz by using this clocking wizard so for that i am going to the sources and uh, add source add our create design source okay create file clock okay then finish okay so here uh, i need to uh, write the code then i will just copy this code i have this code so i will directly copy this code okay save it now go to the this uh, diagram uh, section in here just uh, drag down this one this uh, whatever you code have written they just uh, drag down here so in this way you can directly make as a ip so you wrote the code and uh, this code we can use as a ip okay so here our output uh, clock is for um, um, this clocking wizard output clock is 10 megahertz in this 10 megahertz we are giving to the here this ip so it is taking 10 megahertz now it is converting into the 1 hertz okay so this is a conver uh, clock conversion it is taking 100 megahertz and at last it is giving 1 hertz so this is the uh, conversion of the 100 megahertz to 1 hertz okay and uh, what we need we need a counter to check this uh, uh, delay means uh, frequency it is converted or not so for that uh, 
we will click on here add ip for counter also there is one ip and the binary counter ip okay so here we need to do some modification so what what is the um, clock for this binary counter it is a 1 hertz because we need 1 second delay so i will connect this clock here and uh, we are trying 4 bit counter so we need to set up this output with uh, 4 and uh, count mode count mode is uh, if it is uh, up counter then just keep it up if down counter then down and if you want up down counter then click here up down okay okay then here you can if you want uh, more uh, ports then you can just uh, click on that port particular ports otherwise keep disable okay then uh, this is this this is the output uh, output counter output okay so make uh, all connections external basically this reset is not needed but uh, it was there in that code so that's why it is coming make the all connections uh, external then okay now go to this uh, design and right click then uh, make it as a create sdl wrapper okay so what it will do it will uh, make this uh, complete blocks into the code okay so this is done now uh, if you want to do the simulation then go for the simulation but i don't want so i am directly going to the rtl analysis then okay now here we need to give the uh, what are the input output uh, which we are using in this uh, project okay so for the clock we need uh, l16 from this L16 pin, we are uh, taking the uh, internal clock. Okay, so for that, uh, we are giving this packet pin here, and uh, keep this input output standard as a LVC MOS33 for all pins. Okay, and uh, this is the output Q3, Q2, Q1, Q0. So which I am giving as a uh, this D18, G14, M15, and M14. This is I am giving from this board. Okay, so based on your board, just uh, check it. What are the LEDs you are using? On that board, it is mentioned that this package pins will be mentioned. Okay, and uh, for this up, I am using one slide switch that is G15, and uh, for the reset, I will use one push button that is a Y16. Okay, so this is done. Now save this file, save done. Okay. Now uh, go for the run synthesis. This synthesis is completed. Now go for the run implementation. Here implementation also successfully completed. Now go for the generate midstream. So here midstream also successfully generated. Now connect your uh, board. Then uh, go for the open the hardware uh, manager. Okay, now uh, I'm connect. I have connected this board. So uh, here, click on here, open target and auto connect. So it will automatically detect your board. here or uh, this board is detected automatically now if you click on this program device then uh, it will uh, this, it will dump that bitstream file uh, on your board okay so i'm going for the program device and it will detect this bitstream file which you already generated from this uh, blocks please 
uh, our variable of code in blocks. So that bitstream file it is already uh, automatically detected. Now if you click on this program, then it will this bitstream file will dump on your board. Okay. So let's uh, program. Okay. Now you can uh, check uh, output on your board. So I will show you. Here you can see that it is a uh, showing down counter. So because this uh, switch slide switch is off, so that's why it is showing down counter. If I will uh, turn on this, then it will show up counter. See, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then again, it's a up counter, right? So I will, uh, if turn off, then down counter. See, 0, then 15, 14, like that, it is down counting. So, this is the uh, counter uh, implementation by using the IP blocks. So in this way you can use the uh, existing IP or you can create uh, your own IP by using the uh, by doing some coding and uh, you can use those IPs. Okay, thank you.